<laughs> I guess you would pull the prank and you told Tupac that you'd been fired. Oh, off the yeah. Movie. Oh, my God. Me and Pac always had. I was like his little brother. Like, you know, I got I got the good and the bad of Pac. You know, sometimes he might just wanted to talk. You know, and I knew that's when I needed to just be quiet and just listen to him. But um, Pac had this thing where he would lead the set, man. Like, you know, Hollywood, we all know, was hurry up and wait. At least that's what it was. I don't know what it is now. <laughs> it's been a minute. But uh, it was, it, it's, it's known to be a hurry up and wait business. And that didn't sit too well with Pop all the time. You know, um, and Pac would leave. And he might, we might have another scene we need to do, whatever, or for whatever reason. But he'd be gone. He, I'm out. That's right. it. This so, was before cell phones and everything. All of that shit. Well, Pac had a cell phone. He had a, a brick he, brick phone. <laughs> yeah, he right. had one of them with the little little rubber or gold antenna, the little metal antenna shit. I never forget that phone. Listening to REM on the way to work. That's me in the corner. You know. <laughs> but um, yeah, he um. He would he he would he would do some 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 strange things, but like I said, I was always like his his little brother. So when he left the set that day, and I got back to the, we were staying on uh, 51st and 7th Avenue, right across from the Winter Garden Theater. He was on the ninth floor. I was on the twelfth. So in order to go to you know, my, my floor, I had to pass it, so I stopped by on my way up. You know, till this day, man, I got a lot of bullshit with me. I like the bullshit. I like to, you know, uh, tell you some shit, some bad news. That ain't bad news. So, you know, just an asshole. So I knock on his door. You know, I prepare this. All, I, I wrote it all on the elevator on the way upstairs. So I knock on the door. Boom, 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 boom. Before he come. Yo, boom, 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 boom. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, man. I come in, I said, I'll go through the whole road, man. Yo, man, you done fucked up this time, bro. What the fuck is you talking about, Big Chops? Man, shit, man. They talking about writing you out the script, man. They definitely... David said, that's it. He ain't dealing with you no more. None of that shit. Pac was like, word? Nah, for real? I'm like, yeah, man. But I'm going up here and study the lines because they gave me some more lines. Then <laughs> <laughs> they cut yours out. <laughs> So the next day, mind you, it's bullshit. So I done forgot about this shit. You know what I'm saying? I clearly forget about it. So I get off the van and I'm on this side. I'm walking up, walking up the street. I think it was on one side or something. I'm walking up the street. Next thing I know, I see Pac running towards me and shit. So, you know, I forgot all about the bullshit, and he done found out his bullshit. So I'm still walking, guard down everything. He runs up on me, put his head in my chest, and boom, he's tagging my stomach. Bing, 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 bing. I'm like, bro, what's up, what's up? You fat motherfucker, da 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 You know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn, man, why you lie? Why you lie? I was like, oh, shit, I forgot all about that. You should have warned me. I would have put my guard up. So, you know, now, you know, we, we done pieced it out. It wasn't never no real beef. He was yeah. more so happy that it, I, it was some bullshit. <laughs> right. But he wanted me to know that. He know now it was some bullshit. So we was walking up the street together, and that's when he broke down to me. Like, really, I was going through the motions because I had lost one of my partners the day before. Again, mind you, not knowing who Pac really is, that would have that was the furthest thing from my mind. Yeah. That was a reminder mm. right there that it ain't just raps with this dude. He raps like that because it's a certain part of his lifestyle. You know, uh and 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 we we went on from there.